Ok, este, bienvenidas a Teachers Supporting Teachers. Esta semana vamos a estar aprendiendo a usar Writable y Farley Ideas. Eh, son websites, son sitios web que podemos utilizar con nuestros alumnos para evaluar eh, redacción en inglés, writing, um, y con Parley Ideas es para tener mesas redondas o prepararse para un debate, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a empezar con Parley Ideas. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Alrighty. So, I already um, set up a new group. And I gave you this link, which I put in the chat. Were you guys able to go to the chat and click the link? Yes, I did. Yes. yes. Okay, Sandra, did you? Yes, I did it. Okay, I it. good. So I already did that. Yes, and I can see you guys here. Do you see? Yes. Oh. Okay. I can see Sandra, Rositere, and, and <laughs> Correo <laughs> Chatarra. <laughs> Welcome, Chor. Uh, correo chatarra to our <laughs> online session. <laughs> okay. Very creative, very creative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what is Parley Ideas Marvelous for? You can have, if you see on the left side of your screen, you have these two options that says online roundtables or live roundtables. Okay. This session that I invited you to right now is a live discussion, okay? So what is this for? Initially, I said, oh, this is great because we can have like a real debate like right here because I said, okay, this is live discussion, but not really. This allows your students to prepare for a debate, okay? And this is a way for them to start doing their research, taking notes, and you can actually go into each person's like notepad and see the notes that they're taking and you can give them feedback on that. You can grade it and you can tell them, you know what, you need to investigate a little bit more or you're on the right path or maybe if you want to assess their writing skills a little bit. Um, but it's just just for note taking and this part here where it says start discussion we're going to actually see the video so that you can have an idea but this is like just to put your like brainstorming to put your ideas on the table mm -hmm. and this is like i said this is to prep for a debate all right I've uh, actually done this with my students, with my um, ninth grade students, and we've had two live discussions. And so what, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be tapping in and tapping out, and you're gonna see the functions right now. We're gonna watch the video together, okay? And um, you can like build whatever, if somebody has an idea, it only allows you to write up to 40 characters, like if it were a tweet, okay? So from there, nobody else can see your notes, only you, you as a teacher. But nobody else can see your notes unless you're actually there in the center on the table saying publicly that you have an idea to put on the table. And the participants can vote, like to hear what you want to say. Um, so you can actually do that. And... Um, <laughs> Um, you can also um, challenge your the participants like like if it were a rebuttal. Okay, so we're gonna start the discussion, but we're gonna watch this with you guys. Okay, so um, do you have? Any questions so far? You were going to say something, Rositere, and I cut you off a little bit. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Let me just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you from the beginning, from when where we access. Uh -huh. Parley, 
how do we get to the point where you had us, where we, we decide what type of meeting we want to do? What do you mean, what kind of meeting? Well, uh, what kind of, um, of debate? Because it could be, there were okay. two times, right? Yes, this has to be um, right there. Uh -huh. previously set up. Okay. Okay, so in my case, right now, I'm sharing my screen again with you. So I'm going to start my discussion. I already gave you questions. Can you see the questions? Yeah. Okay, you should, my, you can, you can see my screen, but if you, depending on if you're on a PC or if you're on your, your mobile device, if you can, if you want, you can split screen so that you can see me or you can just minimize um, the Zoom one so that you can focus on your screen. You can focus on your screen and not necessarily what you're, what I'm seeing from Parley. So the, we have two questions. Well, actually one. <laughs> I was going to put two and then I erased one. The question is, how can we reinvent education? This is not necessarily a debate in this case, but if I wanted a debate, then maybe I could give them the topic. Um, what I have done before with my students is I have given them the topic and then I have previously decided who's going to be on the opposing team or who's going to be um, a, for that point of view, whatever. Okay. And so, for example, very good. We have Correo Chatarra who has um, something to say. So if you guys would like to hear what she has to say, then you can vote. So for example, I want to know what she want, what she has to say. So let's see if Sandra and Rositere, if you want to vote, just click on the little ear. And so what happens with this? Right now we're just three of you, three of three students. So if you are in a real classroom with 15 students, 20 students, something like that or more, then obviously you're going to have a lot of students. And instead of saying, well, I want to participate, I want, everybody wants to participate. So, and even the shy ones, even if they're not necessarily participating, they can by taking notes and that way you can see what they're doing. Okay, so you should have, like he said, um, on the left side, your notepad. Do you have your notepad? Where it says notes? No. You guys should have on your left side the notes. And if you start writing, you can actually start taking notes on that. Nope. I don't have it. Uh huh. Now, for example, everybody has it. Let's see. I don't have it. I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you. Are you on a on a laptop or a PC? Who? Rositere? Yeah, I'm on a laptop. Okay, I'm gonna make you host, and can you share your screen so I can tell you where it is? Um. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make you host. See. Let me stop sharing first so I can make you host. There we go. Okay, you are host. Yeah, I'm a host now. Okay. All right, so. Remember at the bottom in the little green, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so click on that little uh, icon that you have. Yes, click there. Oh, where it says extra thoughts, right there. Click where it says ex extra thoughts and you can start writing. This is my notepad right here. Yes, your notepad. Okay. 
everybody has it automatically. Okay. Yes, do you have that, Sandra? I do not have it. Where well, I can see hers, but not mine. Where it says extra thoughts. So what can we share here? There is, if you want to write, for it's like, it says, do you want to, do you see the notes that it says there from Parley? It says, hey, Rositeria Aymana, I'm here to help. Do yes. you want to, what? If I want to book a, a time to see a demonstration, or if I want to go on my oh. own, I can watch the video or follow ah, the- Okay, you can just close it, the little X at the top. Yes. Okay. And then, you know, well, you can just, again, there you go. Okay. So, but she is the one, you're not the one who wanted to participate, but if you have an idea, click on new idea at the, at the bottom. There you go. Okay. Now, what is your new idea? Do you see right there next to your prompt where you have a little hand? No, okay. put it down again. Right there. A new idea? Bit. Underneath, right there. What is your new idea? Okay, you, you have an idea, you wanted to participate, what is it? Remember, you can only write 40 characters, like if it okay. were a tweet. So. There you go. Okay, and once you're done, you press right. enter. Okay. Okay, and uh -huh. you, what do I do? No. Okay, no. did you press enter? Okay, there you go. So now we can actually see that what you wrote, it's right underneath your avatar. Yes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we I can, can see, see it. it. Okay, that's your idea. So if um, that's her new idea, but for example, Correo says that she wants to build on that. Okay, so if we want to know what she wants to build on, she already has two votes. Okay, so that's giving her permission to actually build on that. So then if you want to build on that, um, Lily, just like Rosy Tere did where it says at the bottom underneath the little icon, you can write something brief. Now, as this is coming up because this is like a way to start brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're using that center for ideas. It's just, and it's called parlay ideas because parlay is to talk, right? Mm -hmm. um, and ideas because this is a way to have your brainstorming. But on the part where you have your notes, this is what's allowing you as a teacher to see that they're actually doing their research, that they're actually like putting their ideas in order because they're starting to get ready for a debate, okay? Um, so start like, the question is, how can we reinvent education? That's a real question that I have for you guys because you girls are amazing. So start writing and I want you to to stop sharing the, your screen. Okay, Rositere, can you stop sharing your screen? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go to the sorry. top, okay, and make me host again. You mm, will click on my that. name in participants. Oh yeah. And then you click on my name, you go to more, and then you say make host. I go to you, where? You click. Make host, right there. There you go. You want and to now, change the host to Mayra? Yes. Mm. Okay. No, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. So now I am host again. So that's how you make someone host. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, I'm sharing my screen with you again so that you can see the teacher's view. You're seeing the participant's view. 
and I'm, and now you can actually see like both both sides. So as I want you to start taking notes so that I can show you what it looks like um, as a teacher. So we already saw that if we if you write something, for example, uh, Lilia wrote here, okay, study, become the student and learn. Okay, very good. So you've already put that out. So once you're done, you are going to tap out. You have that little option at the bottom also. Exactly. That means, all right, I already put it out. So you, then you, once you're done, then you have to tap out again. Okay, so Rosita, tap out. And you're going to be continuing writing your notes on the side. Once you are writing your notes. I cannot access my, my parlay. Let me see. Okay, so here we're not speaking, we're writing. Everything right? is writing. Um, I, yes, everything is written. Okay, so this, both of these will be for writing before you, because this is just preparing them for a debate, which you can actually have in Zoom in the breakout sessions. Mm, okay. okay. Well, in the breakout sessions, like with their team to start getting ready for the debate and then the debate actually with everyone there. I've already been able to have a debate on Zoom uh, and it was successful. Mm -hmm. So, but we use Parlay Ideas and we had already used Parlay Ideas once before the actual debate. Um, I mean, we, in total, we used it twice, but once before it was just like for them to understand, for me to understand, for me to experiment with, along with them. Um, and I told my students, this is the first time I'm using this. We're gonna discover this together. Um, and so this part here with the notes, if you, can you see what, I'm, what I see on the left? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Once Rositere writes her notes there, then I can read, <clears throat> for example, she already, she was here with notes and I clicked on students' notes. These are my notes. Oh, okay. Okay. And if I click on the student notes, this is what she has written, but maybe it's not enough. So then I can see, okay, well, her critical thinking skills here, all right, I would give her a uh, four. I won't oh be. Oh my God. No, I'm just playing. But it's just <laughs> for you to see. It's just for you to see. Okay. How it is. Okay, her communication skills. Well, she has terrible communication skills. I'm going to give her a one. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, collaboration. She has collaborated very well. Okay, so then um, once I have, let me just. Mark. So done mm -hmm. that, I have graded it, then I can give her feedback, okay? And I can give her specific feedback. I could say, um, well done, Rositere. I really like um, how you are focusing on shalala, shalala. Remember to whatever yes so that you focus on something good and you tell them something that they can improve and then you send it to the student rositere do you oh. receive my feedback uh okay okay <clears throat> I'm, I'm before i go to my screen yes they're giving you a suggestion and feedbacks huh you can yeah here can. it it tells you um if you want it to go quick, it already has something. So if I want, if I could just click this and it sends automatically. Okay. Okay. Are those always the same or do they change depending on the activity that you're doing? Um, well, this is just suggested. What I have done is like, okay, good. And if everything's okay, then I do something like quick. I have used some of these. 
Um, this has to do with the with the grading that you made, huh? Exactly. Depending on what grading, depending this, this on what they wrote. Comment. The suggested the, feedback. Exactly. Depending right. on the criteria, then for example, okay, maybe I want to add this to what I already wrote. Okay. Um, when I go to my session, I do not see the feedback. Okay. Then how can I, how, can, how do I yeah. send it? Where? Let's see. Let me go back to... Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Okay. Oh, but I'm with Correo. Uh, Rositere, can you, um, do you have any other options? Do you have this? Or this? Oh, let me check. You should have these options. Yes. The thing is that I'm still, yes, I do. Uh, I already clicked on it and it just opened the screen larger. Okay. It gives me the option to keep on taking notes or choose a new idea, a challenge or a build on or a question. That's all I have. Okay. Um, go to your notes again. Yeah, I'm here. Live round, no. And it, that you, okay, you I have this see? little one that says your teacher can create a poll on a topic and student can vote. This is the poll right here. Okay. For example, if I write a poll right now, if I create a poll, um, the education. Okay. Um, I clicked on the little bell on the top right corner and it tells me that my teacher has given me feedback. Exactly. I clicked, okay. I clicked on, on, on the feedback and it sent me to this, this screen that says, uh, Santana Carrillo, time spoken one. Yes. The educational system needs to be reformed. Oh, because I just started the poll right now. So I want oh. you three to vote. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, it needs to be reformed. You mean the one here in Mexico, right? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, definitely it does. <laughs> there you go. So if you see, I have three votes. Three votes, okay. We all three agree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So good. We already have our votes and we go back. Yes? And okay. And we have our discussion. We're in the live right now. So what do I do? Do I close it? Um, you, yeah, you can. But okay. now you know where it is, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so it sent me to this. I lost you girls. I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is for our round table that we're gonna have right now. Okay, live discussion. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. I found you girls. Okay, so if I want to click on Sandra, Sandra, I can make notes. I can see how many times she has participated. She hasn't participated yet, okay, in the, in the discussion table. She has taken notes, though. okay, but she has taken notes. Okay, so then I'm gonna read the notes. Mm -hmm. So I can see that she is using her critical thinking skills. She has very good communication, um, but she hasn't really collaborated. Yes? Okay. okay. So then if I go to feedback, I can send her feedback by saying, um, just try, I, let me go to the suggested. Let me see if we have, no, I can't right now. Try to participate more. Um, 
with ideas in the live discussion. I don't know. It's just an idea. Okay. And she can see the criteria that I gave her. If I want to refresh, I can just click on refresh and it should refresh, <laughs> but it doesn't refresh. Okay. But I can go back to students' notes, no ideas, etc. Let's see. Let me go to correo, students' notes. Exactly. And I can actually see as you are writing. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Brenda, where, where do you access the, the returning feedback? How did you get there? The, with the little bell that you said? Uh-huh. But you can't see the criteria or my comment? No, it, it only, it's only showing me uh, how many times I have participated, that I've, that I've given a new idea, and my my feet. Wait, and the the grading that you gave me on. Um, uh huh. There. And my notes. That's it. But I cannot. I don't know how to return or, or respond to your feedback. Uh, okay, you won't be able to respond to my feedback. Oh, okay. But you will you will get their feedback. Okay. Yes? Okay. Because this is just like, okay, keep it in mind mm -hmm. that because you're not gonna be able to have that discussion because it's not for discussion. It's just like, okay, once they're done, then that's when you tell them like, I really enjoyed whatever. I'm just writing this um, as an example, okay? And I'm going to add another one this time. There we go. I sent it to you. Um, <laughs> I know it's hard. Correo chatarra. All right, so every, I've already sent to everyone. Sandra. Okay. Sandra has a question. How many students can join a discussion? You, I, I, I think like, I'm not sure. I don't remember, Sorry. but I'm, I'm sure that like 40, 50, you can have all your students there. Because I have 32, I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can have all of them here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Let me see if I. Um, these are my actual, my actual students. But I clicked on anonymity so that their names would not appear okay so once they were writing the parlay ideas assigned a famous character or a person gave them a name that's why we have pablo picasso and and <laughs> <laughs> but, oh no but i want to show you from a live discussion, these are their real names, okay? Um, from a live discussion, let me see if we can actually see their notes. No, this one, no, let me see another one. Then it wasn't this one. Let me see if it's this one. Yes. Do you see their notes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they all and they received my grading and the feedback. In this in this case, I just said excellent notes. But for another student that only wrote this, 
then I said, thank you for participating. Next time, try to challenge your peers at least once. So this, as we saw a little bit earlier, we could see that that's exactly the suggested feedback that it, they had that mm -hmm. I just sent. I didn't even have to write it. Yes? Okay. So this is an example of how it actually looks in the classroom with many students. Okay, so this one stayed here, but we have, for example, this one that had also notes. And um, my feedback. Yes? Okay. Okay. So this, like I said, was preparing us for the um, debate. Mm -hmm. So in our case, right now, what I just want, obviously this is just for us to learn how to use it or what we can use it for. Okay, so that's the live round table that like I said, it's just like preparing, it's just for note taking, for brainstorming, for preparing. Okay. Then you have the online round table. The online round table, I'm going to put it in the chat to you guys. Okay, I sent it in the chat. Um, should we click on it? Yes. And now you're here. I have the anonymity on. Anonymity. Anonymity. So we have Marie... Curry, Ermila Galindo, and Subir Said. Okay, those are your names. Mary <laughs> Curry. <laughs> We're gonna see who is who right now. Who's Curry? Okay. Who's Curry? <laughs> All right, you're gonna tell me who who you guys are in in a second. But let's. I want to show you how to create one. Okay, so when you create a new one. It's going to ask you, do you want to create an online roundtable or a live roundtable? In this case, I want to start a new one. Parlay Universe has a lot of topics that you can actually browse and it has everything there for you. Okay, so um, you don't have to like think what are the questions I'm going to ask or um, Okay. or what resources, etc. You can actually look here in the in their library for like round table discussions and articles and videos and everything. But I'm going to show you how to do one from scratch. So you click on start from scratch. And so you have this as a guide. What are the learning goals? What are your students going to learn? What is the purpose? What's the objective of this? So this you're going to select and you are going to modify and write your own goals. The learners will, shalala, shalala, like when you do your lesson plans. Yes? Mm -hmm. What is the content and media? So if you notice, you can insert links, images, movies, videos. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, or videos and etc. Emojis, you can just like if you were writing an email. So you do that. In the one that I created for you guys, I erased this. So I only left the learning goals and the discussion questions. And so I gave you instructions and I provided the two questions. There and then in the peer feedback instructions, I also gave you instructions here. So this is what you can also edit, etc. So this is like when you're 
creating your class in Google Classroom, for example, just like that, like you're putting the instructions and you're be being very clear, like do this and this is what is expected. This is what you're going to learn. This is the purpose. These are the questions I want you to do. All of that's what this is for so that they don't have to be asking you. Teacher, what are we supposed to do? Okay. So you save it and then you invite students by clicking invite and then you copy the link. You can give them this, the code, or you copy, and like I did right now, I pasted it in the chat. Okay. Yes. So you also have the icon for Google Classroom because you can just send it and you can link it and synchronize it with your Google Class Classroom. Okay. All right. So we have the other round table. So this is the one where you guys are at. So that's why you see this. Like I said, um, I modified it. So I put exactly the purpose of, of this round table where you are going to understand and experience at first hand the basic features of Parley Ideas for future use in your classes. Yes, that's the goal, that's the purpose. So what are the discussion questions? I have two discussion questions for you. What has been the most challenging part of teaching online? And what has been the most rewarding part of teaching online? Okay. And peer feedback instructions. Once you have answered the discussion questions, read and comment on at least one of your peers' comments. Okay. So I'm going to um show you from another class so that's something that you guys i really do want to know okay so i want i'm going to leave that as homework later on so that you mm -hmm. can experience experience that on giving somebody else feedback because <laughs> you can actually click on theirs and give them feedback so i'm going to go back to the other one so i can show you what that would look like so i have my students um, I don't remember who is who, and I gave them their the the learning goals and um, the questions. Let me just click some random person, Freddie Mercury. Let's see what Freddie Mercury wrote. The question was, "What is dialogue? What is?" Why is it a special form of communication? And why is it helpful in dealing with conflict? So then they answered. Mm -hmm. Now, if you see in the comments, this, these are prompts. So it says here that there are three comments already. Do you see? So these are just prompts because it, it helps your students learn how to give comments, learn how to give feedback. Mm -hmm. So these are just ideas on what they can use when they are leaving their comment. That's why they, you have a space here to leave a comment. And then you have the assessment. In the assessment, you as a teacher, when you are creating this, you can choose what criteria you want to have. You can make it as concise or as um, broad as you want. In this case, I put all of these criteria. So critical thinking skills, communication, collaboration, how well it was written, focus, analysis, how expressive they are, creative, blah, blah, blah. And then I gave them feedback. And it also gives you suggested feedback, okay? But I gave them feedback. I use their real names. <laughs> when I gave them the feedback and then um, that's it. But you can actually see on comments, for example, if we want to go to one of their, somebody, somebody just write, nice job, Freddie. Okay. And you can leave it anonymous like that so that it's more objective. Mm -hmm. Right. Or to, to um, protect their privacy also. 
But that way they don't know who is who. I knew who everyone was because I was asking them, okay, in the chat, just to me, tell me what your name is. Because you can see when you above it around here, it says me in parentheses. Mm. It says mm -hmm. your name and it says me. When no. you oh, oh, wait. What's my secret identity? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. And it tells you who you are, right? Who are you? Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Who are you? Me? Yes. I'm Subir Said. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um there we go. These are these are you. So that's who you are. So once you you begin, you start writing. Mm -hmm. If I want to reveal your names, then I can see here in the little eye. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Or but only I, you can see them, right? I could. I could, but not them. The idea is for you guys not to know who is who. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all those. Um. All those concepts on um, that you wrote where you were grading each of them. Do you need to grade each of them individually? I select yes. those um, those criteria to uh, assessment criteria. Uh huh. You decide which assessment criteria you want. And you have to grade each each and every one of them individually. Um, well, you don't have to, but if you have them there, it's because you want to assess that. Right. Um, and okay. at the end, it gives you the summary and it tells you how everyone is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that way you can act, have like the big picture. Okay, as a group, I need to work on building their communication skills or their critical thinking skills or their, I don't know, depending. Right. Okay. But that's really the purpose. So that is, this is Parlay Ideas, okay? So that's for you guys to later on um, answer so that I can actually know what you think, mm -hmm. okay? Sandra had to leave because she has um, another meeting right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Very much. So mm -hmm. I hope that you guys start experimenting. That's the best advice. There's no other option. Just experiment, jump into the, the cyber world at, with one dive. <laughs> Don't tiptoe in, <laughs> you know, just plunge in and plunge in. start experimenting. <laughs>